Hello Internet. This video is part two of my YouTube anniversary special. In the first part, I discuss why I started making YouTube videos a year ago, so if you haven't seen it, click the annotation. Okay, so when I tell people that I make videos for YouTube, about 99% of the time, people just laugh and say something like, Really? Why? Does anyone actually watch them? To which I respond, Yes. Please see part one. Uh, well, my mom does, and I think a few of my friends do. Look, it's not important. Nobody gets it. And this perplexed me for a really long time, and even went so far as to discourage me from making videos at all. Maybe this wasn't something people I knew could relate to. Maybe it was silly to even try in the first place. I thought a lot about it, and I eventually came to the conclusion that it was something I really wanted to do, and I wasn't going to let the people who didn't understand it try to get me down. I think when the average person thinks about YouTube, they think about it as this kind of disjointed collection of a bunch of random videos that the only thing they have tying them together is the fact that they were uploaded to the same site. And sure, that's a lot of what YouTube is, but I think like a lot of different sites like this out there, it's a different experience for different people who use it. I discovered the community aspect of YouTube initially through Charlie McDonald. And then slowly I began to become acquainted with other YouTubers like Alma Fai and Jenna Marbles and Hannah Hart. Over time, the number of YouTubers that I watched grew and I began to learn more about this part of YouTube. And then I found the Vlog Brothers, who completely changed my idea of what YouTube could be. And even after that, I started to watch the British YouTubers like Zoella and Jim Chapman and Jack and Finn, along with the rest of their whole group. In this world, the comments weren't just about being first. They were actually discussions. And the creators were in on it too. It was all of this interaction between the people uploading videos and the people watching them. As I was watching, YouTubers were making friends with other YouTubers and starring in each other's videos and commenting in each other's comment sections and even linking to each other on Twitter and Tumblr. Now, to me, the most important part of YouTube is the community. And that's saying a lot because I really like cat videos. When I watch a video that Hanker John makes, I feel invested. I feel like I know them in a not weird and not creepy way, and I just want them to succeed in what they do. Through recent events on YouTube, like Project for Awesome, which is an annual event held by the Vlog Brothers every year, or even this most recent transition of Grace Helbig from one channel to another, and the swell of support that followed her, there are so many examples of how awesome the YouTube community is. Now, I don't feel bad for myself when people make fun of me for making YouTube videos. I feel bad for them because these people haven't experienced how cool this less known side of YouTube and its community can be. One of my new goals for this year is to become a more active member of the YouTube community, to start reaching out to other YouTubers and hopefully make a few friends. Here's to an exciting second year, and don't worry, I still have that announcement to share with you in a few days. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later.